Okay, I absolutely love this idea. And uh, I think it's one of the most important ideas that we have for changing a child's uh, trajectory. So it could be behavior, it could be their emotional state. But the one that I was really interested in and reframed is um, their intelligence, their thinking, their problem solving. And you think of limbic breaking in terms of um, the kind of ball cock that we have in a toilet. So when the ball drops below a certain level, it triggers you know, the water to uh, flood into the tank. And then when it reaches a certain level, it stops. And uh, in a very similar way, the hypothalamus acts as a sort of ball cock. Um, when our energy uh, dips, when our glu the glucose in our bloodstream dips below a certain level, the ball cock stops, um, it's, it stops the flow, it stops the activity. So here we have this, this incredibly interesting aspect of how the, the uh, limbic system can act as a break on the blue brain. This will be a topic for another time, we can override a child's limbic breaks. Um, and the results are not necessarily going to be good for either the child or the parent or the teacher. So it's not as if it's not as if we can't override uh, limbic breaks. We can, and we can do it by yelling or exhorting or bribing. But uh, there is a cost involved, and you know, nine times out of ten, um, it doesn't work out in the long run. It doesn't work out well for the kid.